So this is my wood stove and I had somebody online talking about how I was creating a carcinogen, which is true. Wood smoke is a carcinogenic, but this wood smoke goes all the way up this chimney and out into the air. This firewood is all from fallen trees and down branches and somebody's at the door and wants in. You coming in? Oh, everybody came in. I'm just lighting the stove here, but I'm gonna show the whole process of what I do with the ashes. So the ashes, yes, they're a carcinogenic. Um, oh, let me get the stove. I mean, sorry, this shovel is carcinogenic, but also ash contains a lot of minerals micronutrients which are vital to soil and as you know I'm all about micronutrients in soil so the first thing I have to do is um oh I've got to open the door so that I can bring the ash out so all the warm air from last night's fire is going to escape, but it's going to be re-fired up. This goes into this bin here. It's a lovely morning. It's a gorgeous morning. What's interesting here is you can see the tracks, the wildlife tracks that uh, wildlife has established over time. And so you can see how they trot across this field. When the grass is there, it's not as easily seen because the contrast of the frost adds to it. So you can see the contrast that this pathway for the animals has been established over time. Now over here, you can see these are the thistles. So what I'm gonna do is spread my ash around wherever there are thistles. You can see they've got a good patch of thistles right in here. So that barrel of ash is going to hopefully work and spread uh, all the micronutrients that the soil needs that makes it so the thistles don't need to grow for the soil to re-get its manganese, magnesium, calcium, copper, uh, iron. And this is what the wood ash will uh, activate in the soil when it rains in. That's a, those are nettles. There's some more thistles along over there. So a more natural way to deal with the thistle problem which you can see. <clears throat> and the thistles are a problem because they are contributors to puncturing uh, yo's and lambs' faces when they're grazing and allowing ORF to get a hold inside them. Uh, and ORF is blisters and then lambs can't suckle and yo's can't graze because it's very painful. You can see there must have been a fox there. They're all very interested in that. A fox must have peed or something there. Anyway, you can see how frosty it is, my footprints. Sadly, wherever I walk in a few days time or when it thaws, I'll have broken the cell boundaries of those grasses and there will be a uh, uh, dead grass. Same with where the dogs are. Look, you can see the footprints. There's one. There's another. All along this little path. The dogs don't necessarily have the path. They like the manure pile. The heat of the manure pile has prevented it from frosting. Look at it, it's so beautiful, the frost. Beautiful and cold. So, meet the thistle population. 
and meet the wood ash that is going to um, help deal with the thistle population because it's going to rebalance the soil nutrient system so that the thistle doesn't feel the need to grow. So this is all cold, obviously. I'm using a plastic bucket. So it's rebalancing the soil pH wherever the thistles are. Dogs are all there. Oh, and Inca yeah. is. <laughs> She's right toasty cozy inside, whereas the other dogs are all warm enough to be out and about. Oh, am I doing it right? Oh, there they are. And Maya's on the uh, seat of the quad. Where it's lovely and warm. Isn't that right, puppers? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to keep doing this. And this is how you depopulate your thistle population. Anyway, I better do this two-handed. Doing it with one hand just doesn't work. Now, back inside. And I'm creating more ash, but this is heating me up. And the carcinogenic smoke is going up the chimney. So I have to heat myself in some form or another. And this way I am using the byproduct. I'm using fallen trees to heat me and then the ash as the after result is going up into the fields to decrease the um, thistle population. So I don't have as bad a dose of uh, ORF. Luckily, I've kept it down over the years. So that's what I'm doing right now.